In this final video, I'm going to provide you with some additional information that you can use to protect your rights. If you believe your rights have been violated, as soon as the traffic stop is over, or whenever you have the first opportunity to do so, you should write down whatever information you can recall from the traffic stop. Information that identifies the officer is particularly useful. That would include the officer's name, which is often on a name badge on their uniform, their identification number, which may also be on their badge, the identification number on their vehicle, the license plate on their vehicle, what agency they work for, which may be on a badge on their uniform. If you can't see what agency they work for on their uniform, you can also look at their vehicle. It usually is stenciled on the side. Simply being able to remember what the color of the uniform was and where the stop took place can be incredibly valuable in figuring out which agency stopped you for the traffic violation. Also write down any other facts that you can recall from the stop itself. That would include where the stop took place, what time it was, if there are any witnesses around that may have witnessed the stop. It may also be helpful to keep in mind what other businesses are in the area and whether or not they might have security footage. If you can determine the agency that conducted the traffic stop, you can potentially also get additional records related to the stop by submitting a public records request to that agency. Nevada agencies that engage in law enforcement are required to comply with the Nevada Public Records Act. Typically, you'll find instructions on how to request a particular record on the agency's website. You can also submit a complaint with the ACLU of Nevada. We can potentially provide legal representation or other resources to help you proceed with your matter.